So what if I tell you without getting any job employer, while working my normal 9 to 5 job, I still raked in over $500 in less than two months. And I'm going to show you in this video how I did that. I'm going to tell you the exact steps that will help you do better. So let me give you a background. I live in Lagos, Nigeria. A dollar to Naira is about $1,500. There's a dream that's been sold to everybody. Get cybersecurity, get the skill in cybersecurity, learn it. You're going to get well paid, get well paid with more jobs. But it's not everybody that has experienced this. And like my case, I did not get any offer, only job offer to uh, get into cybersecurity. Maybe because I have another 95 job and I'm not actively seeking a job in cybersecurity. Yes, but. Still, the calls were not coming in. My email box was not getting any congratulations. You have been offered a position as a cybersecurity analyst. None of this was coming in. I needed to find another way to cross this order of earning well in the space of cybersecurity. What can I do? How do I turn this around and earn from this skill? And that question changed everything for me. I realized that I didn't need a job to validate my skill. Cybersecurity skill I have, this is the currency, this is the asset that I have that I can turn into value or turn into an income stream. And this is the first way I started hanging from my cybersecurity skill. I started documenting my learning journey. Remember, the process of learning cybersecurity in itself is an asset that I could make money from. So documenting my you know, learning the cybersecurity skill experience in itself became an asset. So what did I do? I opened a YouTube channel and started teaching or talking about the process I'm going through, how I studied, I shared the labs that I used and I practiced, the difficult ones, the ones I was able to do. I shared how I became certified. I prepared for the certification exam, the study materials I used, you know, how the experience of the exam itself, I was able to scale through the experience, difficult topics, how I explain, how I got to around some topics that felt you know difficult what study materials i used that helped me to break down these complex topics i started sharing all this i wasn't trying to become or prove myself to be an expert i was just sharing you know what i learned to become a guide for other people who may be interested in it so here's the secret if people want to hear real stories people want to know or to experience what other people experience people want to see people who are in their shoes. They're not just interested in listening to a CISO that has been certified or experienced and been working for over 30 or 20 years. They want someone that is in their level. And that is what my sharing, uh, sharing my journey brought to the table for people who want to come into cybersecurity. They see someone they can relate with and they gravitate towards my uh, learning or my journey. So people subscribe to my channel, they follow my posts, the attention that I got from people became the single most important foundation for starting to earn money online. People started to pay something to learn what I know or to, for me to take them through the experience I'm going through. Practically, what do you do? How do you combat this attention? People asking you questions, people coming to you. How do you convert it into an income that eventually led to making my first $500 within a space of about two months. So the first thing you do is affiliate products. You know, there are a lot of cybersecurity solutions or products that are out there, including trainings, softwares, you know, uh, tools. And the producers are looking for people who make use of this product. So affiliate simply means selling what some other people created to people who need it. So I started introducing these people to courses, to digital products, to tools, and to learning uh, platforms too that could benefit this subscriber, giving me the attention and listening to how I pass through this journey. As a cybersecurity beginner, you make use of different things almost every day. For example, I use Hack the Box. Hack the Box provides is a learning platform where you can carry out pen testing, you know, uh, practice. They have an academy. They have various study materials. Coursera. Coursera is a learning platform where they have a lot of courses, a lot of programs that can help you to learn a skill or learn uh, to gain knowledge in certain fields. You know, I use tools like uh, TryAcme or platforms like TryAcme that provided you no know, uh, gamified learning experience where I can practice, you no know, capture the flag. This platform have been created by some established companies, and I'm willing to pay out 
the token for people who introduce new users to them. I sign up as an affiliate on this platform and I introduce my audience, the people giving me the attention into this product. And whenever any of them make use of this product via the link I provided for them, I earn a commission on it. This is the first pathway I provided any income to me as a beginner without having been employed by any in the organization or any company. And remember, I still have my nine to five job while I'm doing all these things. The interesting part of this is that I did not have a huge following. If you look at my channel currently, you see I have less than 3,000 subscribers. And even when I had less than 1,500 subscribers, I was earning. People were patronizing because they could relate with my story. When I make a recommendation, they could trust my judgment. They see the process that I've gone through with the tools or the platform I'm recommending. And they could also uh, see how it will help them. They followed my uh, guidance and I got rewarded for introducing them to what I've used. This is the power of being honest about a tool that I've worked for you that you have made use in this industry. And this can be applied to any other field too. Even if you are not a cybersecurity professional, this applies to whatever field you are in, whether in tech or not. So let's recap. In just about two months, I crossed over my first $500 in earning. And what did I do? I was just sharing my journey and also dropping some affiliate links that introduced uh, people to the tools and platforms that I've used and have helped me. And the absolute best part of it is that I didn't have to wait for an employment offer or for someone to hand me out a job uh, recommendation or a recruiter to approve what I'm doing. So if you're a cybersecurity professional or a beginner, or you are aspiring to be one, and you are stuck in a place like where I am, where it's difficult to get a job in your field or in cybersecurity, you already have what it takes to earn from whatever knowledge or skill you have. Just simply by sharing your journey and sharing your experience, and recommending uh, tools and uh, products that you have used that has benefited you, you can turn your knowledge or your skill and your experience into a steady source of income. All you need is to take action. And to help you take your first step in this process, I put together an ebook that contains also a 30 day action plan, step by step action plan that will help you to start documenting your journey and to also find your first three affiliate products. And the link to getting this information is in the description below. Go to the video description, sign up and get access to this ebook and this 30 day action plan. So if you found this information helpful or useful for you in any way, please like and subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification. I'm going to share with you a third and completely different way of making money from your cybersecurity skills that also helped me to cross into my first $500 in cybersecurity side hustle. Remember, you don't need a job to start your journey in cybersecurity. Sometimes your journey itself becomes your job and your source of income. There are a lot of promises in cybersecurity and you get a well-paid job. But that was not my reality. That was not my experience. I put in the job. I got certified, you know, uh, networking with a lot of people. But yet the jobs were not coming in. My inbox stayed empty. Nobody was calling me and offering any job. Now, but instead of giving up, so I decided to find another way. 